You're just too good to be true Can't take my eyes off of you You would be like heaven at times Morning everybody! So, has anyone ever wake up yet? Nope. All you can see right here, I'm still with my waking up hair. I haven't had breakfast. Actually, I'm still wearing my sleeping wear yesterday. And guess what? This is my breakfast. So, that's my breakfast for like the first few minutes. And we can get start to our work today. So, how's everybody? You had a good sleep last night? Can't take my eyes off of you. <laughs> I need you, baby. Mm -hmm. Alright. So guys, we're gonna start our class in two minutes. And as a spoiler to tell you guys from yesterday, we are working with a prop today. And the prop would be this giant bottle of water. Okay? So how do you work with this thing? First of all, you can think of this is as weight, well, it's only 1.5 liter, which is 1.5 kilograms. Not too heavy, but not so light, but we can really work on our range and movement in Pilates. And also, we can use this as a foam roller. Just make sure that when you fill it up, and you tighten the cap so it will not fill up. And you can use it as a foam roller, because we're gonna put our feet on it, okay? So, I think we all should be ready soon. One minute. So guys, are you guys ready? Maybe you need to. Open the door. Take on the aircon. Alright, so I guess we're ready, right guys? Oh, one minute. I think just one minute. One minute. I think we're ready too. Alright, I got the workout already with you guys here. So let's get to it. Shall we? Yep, we're good to go. So hello everybody, this is Pilates with Tide and a big water bottle. Let's get started. So, to get started, all we need to do is to find a flat surface. It could be in your form, it could be your uh, mat, it could be maybe in, in your bed if you are still uh, just wake up. So you can lay down on your back. Just like this, I hope you guys can see me here. Okay, so, palms on the floor, shoulders relaxed, eyes up to the ceiling, keep the neck long and relaxing here, keep the whole body sticking down to the floor, feet, knees, hip width apart, flex down, palms down, and really relax on your spine. Yeah. So in this position, we go with the neutral spine. You can feel that there's a gap between the neck and the floor, and there's a gap between the lower back and the floor. All right, so you just keep your belly relaxed here. Breathe in through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. Try it again. Inhale through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. Keep going, guys. So inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Imagine that I'm laying on the floor here. So inhale, chest lifted, open from the rib cage. And when you exhale, send it down to your belly button and tuck it all the way. Inhale, and exhale. Imagine your belly, soften when you breathe in. And when you exhale out, push the belly button into the spine and close your ribcage into your lungs. Good. You can breathe as fast as you want. Or you might want to close it down, slow it down, and control it a bit more. 
Imagine somebody holding their hands onto your belly and when you spread out, somebody squeeze it in so you feel your abs, your pelvic and maybe your ribcage slightly come close together and make your pelvic, make your hips really small. Try again, in and out. Alright, now if you are already comfortable with your breathing, let's try something new. So put your uh, index finger onto the front of the hip bone and the thumb onto the back of the hips. So from here, you're gonna when you breathe in, lift the chest, keep the neutral spine. And when you exhale out, slightly curve the tailbone and keep the lower back flat. Ah, try it again. Inhale, tilt your hip forward. But remember you're staying laying on the floor. And when you exhale, press the lower back spine down to the floor. So inhale, natural curve on the spine. And exhale, flat spine on the floor. One more time. And exhale, very good. So guys, resume your, into your natural spine positions. Let's try it, uh, to move with your chest, arm, shoulders and chest alignment. We're gonna have some arm arcs. So palms on the floor. Inhale, 90 degree. Palm facing in, shoulder relax on the floor. Keep the neck long. And exhale, palm down to the floor. Tuck the fingertips. Inhale to the top of the ceiling, 90 degree. And exhale, palm down. Very simple at first, right? So inhale again. And down. Uh, for some of you, questioning, oh, what about the, what's a bottle? Now where this is cut from? So we can start with a water bottle on top of your hips. And inhale. Exhale. Ah, so with the weight of the water bottle, some of you might find your chest lifted. Try to keep the ribcage down and just move your arm. This is how we stabilize our shoulders, our ribcage, work more on the isolation in the movement. Can you feel that? One more time. Very good. So next one, let's go down to the lower body. Put your heels closer to your butt, still keep the hip width apart, knees, on the other way, and for some of you, if you want to try this, you can mind gonna keep the water bottle between the knees. Ah, this is a perfect gap between here. Small gap between the heels and the butt. Palm to the floor, finger for reach into the heels. Keep the whole shoulder down. Breathe in, and when you exhale, press the low from the heels. Lift it up into the hip bridge. And inhale, hold. Exhale all the way down, spine, by spine, by spine. Try it again. Inhale first to hold the movement. Exhale lower back to the floor. Peel from the lower back spine to the middle back, to the upper back, and stop right at the shoulders, tip of the chest, quite directly to the chin. And then inhale, drop it down again. Keep it going. So inhale, hold first, and exhale, press from your heels, squeeze your glute, point your pubic bone up to the sky. One more time, and down. Good. Just remember your spine move like a wave. Wave up from the tilted bone first, up, going up, and find a straight line from the knees to the hip and to the shoulders and slowly put it down to the floor like a worm. Last one. Good, guys, so we're gonna keep the hips up on the top. You can keep the water bottle between your knees so you can always engage your inner thighs or you can remove it and let, keep it up on your hips. We're gonna have 15 second halfway pulses. Yeah, so just halfway pulses, breathe normally, and we keep engaging the glute, the hamstring, the whole posterior chain. That's good. Three, 
two, Jeez. one, and really put it down. Okay, next one, we're gonna start working on the hip flexors. So palms on the floor. No need to water bottle, just put it away first. And then now, make sure that you can find your knees in 90, 90 degrees. Either you can keep the knees together for the new people, or you can separate them hip width apart again. So palms down, slightly lift the heels, take a toe tap on the floor, breathe in, and when you exhale, press the lower back down, lift the knees up, we're coming into tabletop. And coming down again, and coming up. Inhale down, and breathe out to go up. Make sure the knees stay on top of the hip, and maintain that beautiful 90 degree on your knees. Just a few more. Good. Last one, up and hold. So from this position, we maintain the, the knees, and keep the lower back down. Now you can put your hands behind your neck, opening your elbows out, eyes up to the ceiling, take a deep breath in, engage your abdominals, and exhale, chin to chest, shoulder lift up, we're coming into chest lift. So inhale down, and exhale up. Try it again, inhale down, and exhale, really lift up. Alright, so this is quite basic. So anybody of you who want to try to keep the knees down first to maintain the position and focus more on the upper abdominals, it's okay. But if you can keep the knees down like this, we can always engage from the lower abs, the middle abs, and the upper abs. So if we create a chain from the lower down through the sling and into the rib cage. Remember, always exhale out when you come up and breathe in to go down. Next one, we're gonna come into something really, really cool. So keep going up and down, and think about how you can reach far and reach high. One more, stay up. So maintain the knees, I wish you remember, or you can keep it down here. Now from the tightest part, is point of the chest, we're gonna reach our arms into our hip bone, palms facing down, arms forward. So inhale, coming back, relax first, and exhale, coming up. So from this position, you can see that your palm is pointing directly to the floor. Fingers away, eyes between the knees, and now try to breathe in five times, and exhale five times, pumping the arm. Five, four, three, two, exhale. Five, four, three, two, inhale. Five, four, three, two, exhale. Five, four, three, two, inhale. Eight more times. Exhale. So welcome to the hundred. And keep breathing out, 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 out. So we are engaging our abs and lifting the shoulder a bit higher. Think about how far you can reach until the end of the room. Feel that bumbling sensation into your abs, like it's an earthquake right here. And you can feel it even more if you can extend the legs up to the 90 degree like this or if you're strong today how about we try 45 degrees and eventually we touch almost up the heels to the floor eight eight seven six five four three two one five four three two one more five four three two hold it five four three two and knees chest good job everybody so that's how we engage our dynamic breathing into the world today. Just remember, whatever you do, whatever you do, keep breathing just like that. Next up, we're gonna go down into some total body coordinated movement. So remember the bottles, we're gonna use it now. So can we resume back to the chest lift position? So knees up on top, hands behind, chest lift, you know it. So from here, we're gonna come into a single leg stretch. Very simple as that. Just keep the feet a bit apart, pointing your toes. Lift the chest as high as you can. And from here, we're gonna put one hand on top of one knee and pull it close to your chest. And the other leg extend it out. So we have one leg 45 degree, if you can see me here. And one knee pulling close to your chest. Keep the shoulders elevated. 
Inhale, search and exhale, pull the chest to the knee. Inhale, search. Inhale and search. So, very good. So, maintain the position of the lower back. Pull the kneecaps into the thighs. Elbows slightly open out. And see if you can use your arm, your hand to lift your chest even higher. Don't forget to breathe. And for some of you, if you want to try something, try this. When you pull it in, grab the water bottle, wrap it to your knees. Extend, put it between your knee. Search, out, and in. Search, out, and in. Search, out, and in. Come on guys, keep going with me. Good. Anytime you want to go back to the first option with no water bottle, feel free. Five, four, three, don't stop. We have a new move from here. Point your toes directly to the ceiling, straight to the kneecap. If you're not flexible, you can put your hands on the thighs, or on the knees, or on the calf here. Lift the chest even higher, and you have single straight leg stretch. So straight, stretch, and this time remember the options. Can we go with this one? Yes. So make a figure eight with your water bottle, knee extended, and switch it side to side. This is good for your lower abs, for your coordination, and you know exactly what you're doing. Five, four, three, two, one. Right, hold it. Now you can put the water bottle down or you can keep it over your head. Now bend the knees, extend your arm, and then you can extend your arm forward and coming back up. Bend the knees. Extend arm up to the ceiling, point your toes to the other side, and coming up. Drop. Extend overhead if you can, and coming up. We're ready to do this three more times here. Three. Overhead, and up. Two. Extend. Last one. How long can you stay on it? Extend, and up. Three, stay up here. Two, and bend the knees, relax. Guys, just lay down on the floor. This one, it will be easy. Next one, we're gonna relax. So, keep the palm to the side. Shoulder down, relax. Lift both your knees up. Keep staying on the floor. And we're gonna come into bend knee fall out. So just bend the knee. Feet, keep the knees together and when you start open one leg to the side and relax your inner thighs. Exhale to come in. Inhale to open up. So just easy here. And open it out again. Just open your knees side to side. Inhale. And exhale. Three more time. Two. Good. Next one, we're gonna do some side to side. Keep the shoulders still. Knees, now you can go keep your knees all together. Or if you wanna engage your inner thighs, your hip adductor more, you know what to do. Water about us between your knees and really hold on to it. So from here, palm to the side, and just fold your knee onto the side. Eyes up forward, keep the shoulder down, and slightly turn the hip to the one side. Inhale to come in center, exhale to the side. Good. So maintain the 90 degree on your knees, and just fold it forward as long as, as long as you can, but keep the shoulder down. If your shoulder lifted, maybe you want to keep it a bit higher. Three more time. On the next side. Take it easy here. Three. Two. And relax. All right, guys. Take a little break here. If you need to, go get your coffee. I can see the comments. <laughs> yes, yes, I agree. It's, well, normally this is the time you guys already go to work, right? But since some of us haven't been to work for days, 
so I can understand when we get to sleep a bit later and we get to wake up a bit later so if you want to have a minute go grab a drink go grab a water or maybe your coffee and you can come in back here mm. good one for me I'm not really a coffee person I mean I do love coffee but I'm more of a tea person and maybe yogurt so this is my coffee and I'm ready let's go again next one we're gonna go down again into our uh, supine position and heels close to back you know it and we're gonna come into some assistant roll up so heels to back turn it down you know it you know this position already and now everybody breathe in first you lift the knees and this time you can keep the knees together of course if you want some challenge bottom between the knees Keep it on the gap here. So inhale first, hands behind. We're gonna come into chest lifted again. The highest point of the shoulders. And now reach your arm forward and put your palms behind your thighs. So from here, elbows opening out. Bend the elbow, lift the chest. Brace your up and keep the lower back down to the floor. Breathe in. And when you exhale, push from your knees into your hands and lift your body up just like a ball and sit up so we're coming into our assisted roll up hold on again, inhale and exhale, find your way down to the floor keep the arms here and slowly rolling like a ball the knot of your knees coming up on top again and land your shoulder down good inhale again Exhale, lift your chin and chest up, eyes between the knees, and while you're doing this, keep pushing from the thighs into your hands, so you have a sensation of push and pull between your hands and legs, and then you can find your body standing up, sitting upward, straight back, and try it again. One more time. In, and round the lower back first, tailbone touch down, long rope spine touch down, Rip cage touch down and shoulder blades. One more. Exhale, coming up. And sit up high. Good. Now go back down to the floor again. Going down, inhale. And exhale. Good. Are you guys on the floor yet? Alright, so when we are on the floor, we're gonna come into our roll up. So for your options. You can put your feet down here or you can even extend your legs. Good. So I'm going to go with the easy option first. So now palms over your arms. Remember the arm out. Shoulders away. Lock, lock the chest, lock the shoulders and pray. embrace the lower back. Breathe in, arm to the 90 degree. And when you exhale, lift the chest, reach forward. And just like how you roll up, Keep your body up as nice and slow. Good. And then coming down again. Spine by spine, remember, you don't want to rush your movement. And find a way really, really slow down. Palms down, facing inside, eyes up. For a slightly strong option, you can extend your legs. Knee caps are tight. Keep the legs down to the floor, shoulder down. Breathe and exhale, find your way. Roll your body up, just like a roll kick. And reaching forward, pass up, and coming up again. Now let's go. Inhale. Yep, as you can see, I just made it full already because my body is quite long. So exhale, coming up. Chin to chest, shoulder lift. How do you wake up in the morning? Do you wake up like this? I should do. Okay, I'm not, I'm kidding, I'm not, I did not, I wake up so bad. <laughs> Can we go one more time? And I'm coming forward. Good, and from here, let's try some spine stretch. So, you got, you, you got still in this position, right? So knees down, toes up, uh, come and fight to the floor, breathe in. And then exhale, chin to chest, reach your body forward, 
around the spine. Okay. Hold it. Inhale. And exhale, you're coming back. In. On the side, pull up. Inhale. And then exhale, chin first. Then reach your shoulder forward. Keep your upper arm down to the floor. Round the chest. Extend into the thoracic spine. Flexing the abs. And keep the lower back straight here. Good. So your body is like a C ladder now. Breathe in. And then coming back. So we're going to go a bit faster, yeah? Breathe in. And then exhale to the front. Think about how you can round up the spine like a zip. Like a worm. Yeah. And remember, we still have the water bottle, right? So grab it. You can put it into your abdominals. And when you reach forward, think about how you can uh, flex your body. But don't push the bottle away. So you're going to breathe out and tuck the belly button inside even more. So this bottle can stay put into your uh, lap. Bring it back in. And reaching down. I reckon we should do one more time, so I'm gonna put it up here and try my best to keep this thing in. So I'm gonna roll forward. You can take a look at the bottle. We try my best to not touch the bottle so it will not be rolling away. And then coming back. Ah, roll your shoulders, relax. And next one, we're gonna to come to some rotation. So if you need to keep yourself hydrated, go for it. It's always good. If you sign your home, nobody will watch you. I do. <laughs> okay, next one. Let's come into our uh, rotation with spine twists. So you can keep your feet parallel to each other like this. Or you can keep bottle apart. Yeah, bottle will have for the knee. And for those who are flexible, well, you can try to open a bit wider, but trust me, you don't want to go too wide. So in this position, imagine that you're sitting in the back of the wall. Extend your arms to the side, palms down, shoulder down, long leg, chin in, breathe in first. And now you can place the palm inside. And exhale, turn your chest, turn your arm, look to the side. Inhale, center. Breathe out, turn. So in this movement, it's very good for you to find out which side you are more flexible. For me, it's slightly easier to go to the right side. So how do I fix it? Easy. Inhale deeper when you're about to go left. And when you turn to your left, exhale all the way. Keep the hips still really tight and turn your torso even more. Inhale again. And out. Let's try three more times. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Maintain the head. Rotate the chest. Simple as that. One more. All right, so same movement. Remember how you're gonna reach down into your spine stretch. We're gonna do the same thing. But now, when you exhale, turn into the chair to the side, you're gonna reach your other hands into the other side of the shin and turn your arm forward. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist us, and then reach down to the other side of the ankle. All right. So if you are not flexible, or if you feel like your lower, uh, your hamstring is a little bit uh, too sprained, you can slightly lift the knee and try just to touch down to your shin. Let's try and do this three more times on each side. Breathe in first, center. Exhale slowly when you do twist and reach down. For me, if I want to work on my flexibility for the rotation, I'm going to spread my feet wider and turn and see how far I can reach down without twisting from my shoulders. Inhale, all the way to the side. Remember to keep straightening out and touching down. One more time, everybody. 
three, two, and relax. Woo. Next one. We're gonna go move on into mermaid. Oh, we gotta do it to the sides. So guys, from here, you're gonna keep your knees together to the front. So from here, you can keep your knees together. Or slightly open. Or you can go down here. As long as you can really put your butt down, knees to the floor, chest is up. We're gonna come into the mermaid. So extend your arms to the side, turn it down, and remember, we're working with the bottles this time. So put it right here. Inhale first. Exhale, palm, right palms up, left palm to the floor, left knee pointing out, and when you exhale down, raise to the floor, bend the left elbow, keep your shoulders away, eyes up. Breathe in center, back to the starting position. Exhale, pass down first. Keep the arms straight first. Hands up and elbows bend, pointing to the floor. Keep the hip bone down and coming back up again. So when you uh, move, even if you're holding the muscles on the other arms like this, remember guys, this hip stay down by over extending the side of the ribcage and you might want to pull this ribcage into the tip of the hip and back again one more time and exhale left alright so from here maintain the positions we're gonna come into side bend so you can drop the water bottle because this is can, because this can be quite hard so from these positions you're gonna lift the body up uh, like again now you're gonna extend your legs to the side so the bottom knee is directly in line with the hips and the heels and the other foot pointing down from to the front stay on the edge okay so from here you're gonna stand up from front hands on the sides inhale hands right directly under the shoulders and when you exhale reach up you can coming up and forward into the side back so inhale down Remember, keep your legs long and relax. No need to shrug, don't shrug. And exhale, coming up. Good. And remember, if you want to wrap the bottles, because it's quite, quite heavy, it's going to work on our shoulders. Breathe out when you come up, and see if you can keep the body as straight as one line. For some alternate uh, option, if you want some uh, strength, so push both feet extended, or you can even stack two feet together like this. Lifting up high. Stay on your palms. Body straight up. Straight down. And coming down. I say we need three more times. Three. Good. Strong on your arms. Squeeze the shoulders. Tighten the up, the bicep and the tricep. And lift as high as you can. And see if you can drop the water bottle slightly down to the overhead so you can stretch out on the other side of the lats. One more. Breathe out. Feel the obliques. This is where the obliques are going to work. Keep your hip pointing to the front, okay? And sit down. Alright, so from here, when you sit down, you're going to go down to your uh, uh, easy option again. So bend the uh, bottom legs back. Palms down and push your body up into side lift. but this time we're gonna come into kneeling side kick series so arms to the side palms up and lift your legs up so breathe in flex your foot pointing your toe to the front kick to the front exhale and inhale sweep your toes to the back kick to the front point your toes and drag it to the back so you can maintain the position of the upper body and back one more time Good. So we're going to go up and down four more times. Just to work with the hip up that turn. And last one for the last 10 seconds. Turn your knees. Make a circle. Can you see me making a circle with the legs? Oh, this is going to burn five, four, three, two, one, and ooh, out. 
Okay, I have to be honest, I haven't done a lot of work recently. I mean, I do work out every day, but, whoa, well, haven't done for quite some time. So, this is the feeling new. Let's go to the other side. So, we're gonna come back to the mermaid on the other side. So, put your knees together like this, or you can feet into the thighs, back heels down, and anchor the left heel this time. So, the right palm reaching out to, to, to out. Lean to the right side this time, palms on the floor, bend the elbows and reach. You know the movement. Inhale. And get down. Good. So just keep moving, you know this movement, just go to the other side. Relax on your breathing, extend it out even more. Think about stretching your ribcage like when you pulling a ribcage. <laughs> Or if you know how you know how the ribcage look like when you eat the ribs, right? So just pull them out. Yeah. One more time. Yeah. So from the mermaid, let's go straight into the side bend. Palms down. Extend the top legs, bottom leg down, or bottom leg under, right behind the top legs. Coming up and over. Coming down again. Up and over. Exhale on the top. And if you want to, the water bottle options. See how you can control the water bottle without shrugging your shoulders. Keep the elbows slight then. I say three more times. Three. Two. I'm on the highest option here, you can see my feet. Last one. And down. Okay, let's do some little side kicks. So back knee down, coming up into your legs. Keep the other, the top legs elevated. You're gonna kick forward and slide it back. Kick it forward, slide it back. Forward, slide it back. Three, two, alright, up and down five times, maintain the positions, really lean into the front of the arms so you can cool, work on your shoulder progressions. One more time, and up ten, nine, let's make those circles, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and down. So from here, keeping the arms slightly put the palms to the floor, extend the back legs and you come into a plank position. So guys, stay here in the plank, heels back, shoulder elbows in, lean your shoulder toward your arms, neck down, cheeks, chest, eyes to down to the floor and we're rolling back into down dog. Yeah? So heels on the floor, shoulder, head under the shoulders. Back top to the sky, and then lift the heels, roll the lower back spine. Roll your shoulders, eyes up, elbows in, finger to the front, coming back to plank again. And then roll back to the down dog. So down dog, and plank. Down dog, and plank. Exhale back, inhale into plank. Remember, roll your spine like a wave and relax in your abs. Don't push too much on your shoulders, you don't need to. Think about your body moving forward and back, your arms and legs takes turn. Five more time. I'm gonna join you. See if you can roll the spine like this, and come back. Last one. Alright, you can do a good stretch in hamstring, in the legs, and now let's come down to your four knees. The next one, you're gonna have push up back. Very simple. Knees under the hip, feet hip width apart, hands under the shoulders, shoulders apart, finger forward, and remember, keep the water bottle in front of you. First one, you're gonna extend the back leg, one back leg, 
and you, the other arm reach forward. Inhale down, maintain the position, raise your abs, and exhale, reach the other arms and legs again. So one left leg, right arm, and one left arm, right leg. Good. So down and switch, keep your eyes on the floor. If you want to, you can even reach it with the water bottle to make add more some strength and resistance into your shoulders. Feel the weight and the gravity pulling your arms down, but you still keep it parallel to the floor. Yep. One more time. Everybody. Next one, drop the water bottle on your hands. We're gonna have some fun. 30 seconds on the mountain climbers. So from here, stay on your arms, knee to chest. Keep your butt down. If you wanna go slow, go slow. If you wanna go fast and get some heart rate, go with me. Keep your butt down here. Tuck the knee to the chest in 20 seconds. Keep going, keep going, keep it running, keep it running. I'm with you guys here, I'm with you guys here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo! So, how do you feel? Good. Engage from the abs into the hips. You can feel the world into the lower abdominals. And yeah. Look at this, so I'm sweating already. All right, halfway, I think, no, not just halfway, almost at the end, the last part of the class already. Take some time, get a drink. All right, we have one minute for rest here, guys. So next one. If you want to uh, go with me as well as one minute, you can come down into your hover. So elbows on the floor, butt lower on, with the shoulders, hip with the part, or you can keep your feet together, palms together, eyes on the floor. You can stay down here for one minute. Yeah, just one minute here, just one minute, I promise. I mean, all, all the plank challenge you see on the on uh, social media this day, right? I'm sure some of you already tried. So for today, just work on it. It's just fine, right? We can do this. No biggie. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Stay here. Oh, I mean this is a good work to wake up in the morning, you can really feel it. Just keep engaging your glute, pulling the quad together, raise your abs and push the floor away. Five seconds to go, five, four, three, two, one, and slowly drop the hips to the floor. Relax. Woo! Okay, we're coming down to the floor. Yay! This is my favorite part. Because now, we have no more work on the abs. All the work right now, we're gonna focus on the back. So next one, we're gonna do some duck uh, pose. Or should I say, power extensions. So you're gonna place down to the floor. Pelvic floor sticking down and squeeze your butt here. Alright, and that's from here. You're gonna keep your arm close to your body. Face down, chin in, you know it. Might resume the natural positions. And from here, inhale first. Point your toes. And exhale, lengthen the spine, elongate uh, the vertebrae. And when you exhale, slightly lift the body up. Chin down to slow. Keep your arms here. Inhale down. Exhale up. Good. Inhale down again. Exhale up. When you go up to the top, 
eyes can look two meters away but still gazing down to the floor. One more. Yeah. Now let's try some front extension. So let's take your arm forward. Look down again, pass to the floor or palm facing inside up to you. But try to remove and you know, rotate the shoulder girdle. Inhale down. And when you exhale, lift from the chest. Arms up. Palms in. Inhale down. Exhale, coming up and forward. If you can, keep your toes on the floor. Keep it coming. Inhale down. And exhale, can you rest reach forward? Use the shoulder blades, pulling it together. Keep your arms forward. But if you shrug like this, nah, nah, no shrugging as I tell you. Keep the neck long again, pulling it back. Two more time. Last one. Yeah. Next one. Back to the bottles. So with the bottles this time, you know the position of the, the lower body already. We're gonna focus on the upper body. So just like the other day when I do stretching abs, we're gonna have this. Keep the uh, Use this thing forward of you and look down to the floor. Think of it like a foam roller. So the water bottle is on your wrist. So when you go up into extension again, roll it into your fingertips. Come into swan position. Inhale down. Roll the bottle forward. You don't need to control it. Just let it roll by itself. Just let it roll by itself. And see. Yes. Keep shoulder down. Slightly bend the elbow if you can. Inhale down again. Exhale, coming forward. Last one. Good. Okay, next one. From the standing position, you're gonna wrap both ends of the bottles. Breathe in first. And exhale, lift the legs, clear the thighs of the floor, and lift the bottles up. Inhale down. Exhale, lift up. Good. So you can see me now. Make sure that when you lift the arms up, see if you can pass the arms over your ears. Just like this. The higher, the stronger you pull into your traps. Your shoulder blades and the center of the upper back. One more. Good. From the top positions, now hold the bottles. Run the arm to the back, run the bottles. Take it to the front. Land down to the floor. Lift it up. Swing it to the back. Take it to the front. And down. This is the first option. If you can, try to stay up. And then no touching down to the floor. Switch back again. Can you keep moving without touching the floor? This is the whole posterior change engagement here. Can you connect from the kneecap through the hamstring into your glutes, your lower back and upper back all together? Keep your body up and tight. Keep going. Three more times. Three. Two. Keep turning back and forth, back and forth. Last one. And not yet. Hold it, hold it. All right, so call the ball, water bottle on top. Everybody, we've got another challenge. It's not the plank, it's the water lifting up and lift your legs up and flush the kick, or we call it swimming. So guys, keep the bottle as high as you can. Don't touch your arm to the floor. Lift the chest up and swim. From this angle, yes, you can see the water bottle, right? So you keep swimming, pointing down your toes to the back. I can't swim here because my toes touching the floor, the, the walls already. So keep swimming. You got 25 seconds to go. 25 seconds to go. Oh my God, I'm breathing. I think I'm dying. <laughs> Come on, team. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Keep swimming, keep swimming. Keep your legs straight. Like you want to swim back to the floor, there's a shark chasing you. Baby shark, do, 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 do. Three, two, drop. 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 Drop
Drop. Drop. And now, not yet. Three, two, one, hold. Stay up, hold. Guys, stay here, stay here. Stay here. Three, two, one. <laughs> Good job, everybody. One minute rest. One minute rest. I'm not. I'm not sure how you guys are doing at home, but I'm very sure. Baby Shark Kani. Thanks, JP. Mm. Mm, better than coffee. <laughs> All right. So the last part of the work today, we're gonna be a bit. We're gonna be a bit um. Easy. So I say, let's go down again to the floor. And we're gonna roll in like a ball. So put the feet down. Hands on top of the knee. Brown the back. Breathe in. And now just like how you do the assist and roll up. You're gonna roll it back, but for this time on top of the kneecap. And then coming back up. So keep your feet together. Arms open wide, long shoulders, around the back, and coming back up. Can you sit on your sit bone a little bit? Round, exhale, and up. On the side, if this is, if ideally you are on the mat, just keep rolling back, stop, and up, sit nicely in your toe, round it back, and up. Good. You can gently, see, you can gently lay your head to the floor. We're gonna roll it a few more times. Go back. And forward. Just let it easy on your spine. This is a good massaging movement. And come on, I'm very sure that when we were kids, we do this all the time. Do you know that a lot of movements when we are children is exactly Pilates? And we do it as a kid, and we have no idea. One more time, please. And stop. All right. Last big challenge of the day. We're gonna come into roll over. I'm telling you, in my normal class of Q Fitness, I hardly do uh, roll over because some of us, we might have scoliosis on our upper back. We might not have the strongest shoulders, but this time, at home, you are free to do whatever you feel like. But keep your body to always challenge. So let's go back down to your tabletop positions. Now you're gonna extend the legs up to the top. You're gonna to flex the foot down to 45 degrees. Make sure you keep the palms down on the floor, shoulders away, and then throw your legs up as quickly as your butt, come into rollover movement. So, slowly release your hand, open your legs, flex your foot, gently put the spine down again. And down to 45 from this angle, you can see me. From this angle down to 45. Lift, throw it up and crush your back. Yep, quickly crush your back. Flex your foot, open your feet, hip width apart. Exhale down and spine to the floor. For some of you, if you are strong, you don't need your hands. Try this. Lift it up, over, but don't use your hands. Yes. So you're gonna push your tailbone up even higher. Flex your foot. Oops, I kicked my TV. I hope I didn't kick the TV, but I lost gonna kill me. And drop down. And roll it, throw it up. Again. Yeah, so everybody, use the whole low, strong lower abdominal to throw your legs over your head and squeeze your shoulder blade together so you can keep your arms up, keep your legs up, and basically standing on your head and shoulders. Simple as that. Well, simple to say. But if you fail for the first few times, try it again. Just keep moving until you can really find your elbows behind your back, your hands catching here, supporting your lower, your hips, and shoulders away, creating a nice strong square shape with the shoulders and the elbow, and you can stay up. I say three more times. Down, 45, or even lower, and throw it away. 
And down one more time. Da, 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 and up. I say, are you ready for the last one? So from here, down, and throw it. Catch it, or not catching it. Put it down, and lift it up. Wait, 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 stay up. Guys, we're not done yet. So from here, this is the challenge for today, a very advanced movement. We have the bicycle. So you can uh, extend the one legs, bend the knees, aim, all the way up. We have bicycle. So if you want to, support your back. Extend the legs all the way back and bend the knees. And just like you, how you ride a bicycle, keep turning your knees. Inhale halfway, exhale halfway. For me, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna switch it. And if I'm strong enough, Let's see if I can stay on my shoulders with my arms up to the sky and squeezing my butt up. The higher the shoulders, the stronger I can tear. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And drop. Hey, I have a trick. Remember the bottles? We can try it again. Same thing, back by the leg back. We're gonna switch, see if I can switch the bottom. Switch, and switch, and switch, and switch. Can you do this? Can you switch the bottom between your legs? I just need three more time, three. If you can, get around the bottom, if you're not, okay. Throw two, and drop. Woo! Awesome! Okay, everybody, I think we're done for today. So let's sit up, relax, and have some nice stretching here. So for the last few minutes, let's do some standing roll down. So stand up, relax your shoulders, arms to the back, breathe in, feet together, or feet a bit apart, breathe in your arms up, arms down, bridge, and find the way to the floor while you write, rounding the spine, bending the knees, find it down to the floor. Inhale, hold. And exhale, squeeze your butt, round the spine, coming back right up. Oh, my hair, oh, my hair. <laughs> Try it again, lift it up. And coming down. We just need a few more time here to relax the body. Release all the unnecessary tension on the spine and release it. One more time. See if you can drop down without bending the knees. See how flexible you can be today. Ah, uh, good stretch, right? After a long time, sitting it up. Last one, lift it up. I'm in hold. We'll just drop to the side, reaching out. Breathe in, draw to the side, opening the ribcage again. Looking up. See if you can keep the hip and only turn the upper body. Last one. And relax. So from here, turn your body side to side, round the shoulders, turn your neck slightly, and voila, one hour is done, everybody. Thank you for coming with me today. So we only have exactly 9, 30 seconds back of the class. So I wish you guys a very good day. If, and if you're lost track of the time, tomorrow is the weekend. Well, it's not much different, right, for most of us. So I hope you guys are going to have a good weekend. Relax here. And this is a time when you can dance all night, sleep all day, or do whatever you want as long as you're happy. You're, uh, you can be with your loved ones. And let's all together get through this time, alright? I'm really happy to, to teach you guys here today and we'll see you next time!